friends. Hi, how are you today? Welcome to Storytime. My name is Laura. I'm the Early Childhood Program Developer at Children's Discovery Museum in San Jose. And I'm so excited that you could join us again for Storytime today. Again, I'm still home. You're still home. So much fun. <laughs> Well, hopefully we can make it fun today. All right, so I have a very special story to read today. Um, but before I do, let's do our opening song. Okay, ready? It goes like this. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Check your hands, check your feet. Check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, awesome. Do you notice anybody who's joined us today for story time? Anybody notice my friend here? Do you know who this is? The very hungry, hungry caterpillar. Do any of you know this story already? I'm sure some of you probably do. Yeah, so our caterpillar is gonna come out of an egg and it's gonna be really, really hungry and it's gonna eat lots and lots of food. And then you know what's gonna happen? Actually, I would love to know if you know what's gonna happen. Can you tell me what you think that, what the caterpillar is gonna turn into? Do you know? That's right. It's gonna turn into a butterfly. All right, so are you ready to read our story and learn how all that happened? All right, let's do it. Okay, so today's story is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. I love this book. Okay. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. See the egg right here? And here's the moon, tree, and the leaf. It's so tiny, huh? Such a tiny little egg. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Look at how tiny it is. Oh. There's the sun, the sun's got a nice smile on its face. Do you see any food around? I don't really see any food around right now, so the caterpillar is gonna have to look around to try to find some food. It's, oh, it started to look for some food. Guess what it found? On Monday, it ate through one, what is this? An apple, but you know what? He was still hungry. Hmm. He must be a really hungry caterpillar. Oh, look at here. Here he is coming out of the apple. <gasps> On Tuesday, he ate through, what are these? One, two pears. But he was still hungry. Hmm. Uh-oh. Here he comes, searching for more food. On Wednesday, he ate through how many? One, two, Three plums, three plums. What do you think happened? Do you think he was still hungry? Mm -hmm, he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through, what are these? They're strawberries, let's count how many. One, two, three, four strawberries. But guess what? He was still hungry. Mm -hmm. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's still looking for food. On Friday, he ate through how many oranges? One, two, three, four, five oranges. Five oranges. That's a lot of oranges for such a tiny little caterpillar. And you know what? He was still hungry. Still hungry. Oh my goodness. On Saturday, he ate through, what did he eat through? One chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one piece of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami. What is this? One lollipop, one cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake. And what's this one? One slice of watermelon. And you know what? That night, he had a stomach ache. Mm-hmm, because look at that. He was eating all the healthy food, but then he ate all this food. That's a lot, that's a lot. No wonder he had a stomach ache. 
The next day was Sunday morning again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. See how he ate through some of the leaf here? And after that, he felt much better. You can see his face. Yeah, look at, he's smiling. <laughs> Phew. And now, he wasn't a hungry caterpillar anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Oh my goodness, see how he, he looks a lot different, huh? Like all that food kind of plumped him up. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then, look, so look at the cocoon here. Do you notice the shapes? Do you notice the shapes? So see, it looks a lot like the same shape as this caterpillar, huh? But what's different? What's different about it? Does it have eyes? No. Does it have a nose? No. Does it have feet? No. How about antenna? No. Is it green? No, it's, what color is that? That's brown. Mm-hmm. So it's very much the same shape, but now he built this cocoon all around him. And what do you think is gonna happen while it's in the cocoon? What do you think is gonna happen? Let's see. After two weeks, he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And, wait for it, ready? He was a beautiful butterfly. Look at that. Look at that. What colors do you see in the butterfly now? Look at all sorts of different. I see some red. We had some red in our caterpillar. Some purple. I see green from our caterpillar. Blue. I don't think there was much blue in our caterpillar. There's lots of yellow. Look at all the colors. Do you have any of these colors around? Maybe like on, on the clothes that you're wearing right now? Like I have some pink right here. And purple, I got purple. Yay, like that. <laughs> nice, all right, my friends, good job, all right. So you can see that it takes a lot for a caterpillar to turn into a butterfly, doesn't it? It really does. So let's, ring, let's see if we remember exactly what happened, how our caterpillar turned into a butterfly. Do you remember the first thing it ate? When it, remember how it hatched and it was looking for food and it found one piece of fruit. Do you remember what that fruit was? It was an apple. All right, so our caterpillar is gonna eat our apple. Mm. And then on the second day, he had two pieces of fruit. Remember what they were? There were two pears. All right, let's have our caterpillar eat the pears. You can do that with me. You can like make the sound like a caterpillar eating. They're so tiny though. They probably don't make such a big noise, but maybe to them, it seems like a big noise. All right, what happened next? What did they eat? Three plums. Does anyone like plums? I love plums. All right, here we go. Ready? <laughs> and then on the fourth day, what are these? Strawberries. Does anyone like strawberries? Thumbs up if you like strawberries. All right. We have how many here? One, two, three, four strawberries. All right, here we go. Our caterpillar's really hungry. And then on the fifth day, do you remember? There were five oranges. Mm-hmm. Caterpillar's like, I love me some oranges. Here we go. And then, do you remember what happened next? He, he ate all the healthy food. Mm -hmm. You were being very healthy. But then you're like, I just need some more. I just got, I just got to have some more. So, you know, remember what he had? <gasps> remember all of this? Chocolate cake, mm. ice cream, mm. pickle, mm. cheese, mm. salami. Mm. That's not it. There's more. Ready? What else? Lollipop, mm. cherry cake or pie, mm. sausage, mm. cupcake, mm. watermelon. Mm, 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 mm. And then after all that, what happened? Oh, he didn't feel very good, did he? Had a tummy ache, yeah. So then he ate through a leaf. And then what happened? Do you remember what happened next? What happened? 
he formed a chrysalis. Remember? Formed a little house. Right? And do you remember how long it lived in the, ha in the chrysalis? They said, he, Eric Carl said, two weeks. And then what happened? Then he went, poked through, and out came a, what is it? A butterfly! Yay! Look at the butterfly. Can you everyone flap your wings like a butterfly? Nice. <laughs> awesome. All right, my friends. Well, now I have a movement activity that we're going to do. So I'm going to move some stuff here so we can create some room for us to do some moving around. Ready? Here we go. All right. I'm always afraid I'm going to make you too dizzy when I do that. All right, my friends, I'm going to move you up so you can actually see me. Hi. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pretend like we are going to the life cycle of a butterfly. Okay. So remember, butterflies first start off as caterpillars, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to wiggle our bodies like this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like a caterpillar. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay. And then what happens? They form a chrysalis, right? So when we're a chrysalis, we're going to be stiff, like a statue. Frozen like a statue, just like that. Good job. Okay. And then we become butterflies. So what are we going to do when we turn butterflies? We're going to flutter and fly around, right? Woo! Flutter, flutter, flutter. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. So join me. Help me out, okay? All right. It goes like this. I'm a, say, I'm a little caterpillar wiggle like me. I'm a little caterpillar wiggle like me. I'm a little caterpillar wiggle like me. Wiggle like me, my darling. All right, now we're gonna be a chrysalis. So freeze like a statue, okay? I'm a little chrysalis sleep like me. I'm a little chrysalis sleep like me. I'm a little chrysalis sleep like me. Sleep like me, my darling. And then what's gonna happen? We're gonna be butterflies, ready? I'm a butterfly flutter like me. I'm a butterfly flutter like me. I'm a butterfly flutter like me. Flutter like me, my darling. All right, good job everyone, awesome. I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for joining me again today for story time. It was really nice to see you guys again. I want to do our closing song before we say goodbye. And it goes like this. Our hands say thank you with the clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands and we roll them really, really fast because when we stop, oh no, we have to say goodbye. All right, thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.